We're back, IBM Think 2018. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. Three days of wall-to-wall -wall interviews, thought leaders, experts, entrepreneurs, people making an impact. We're talking all things cloud, AI, blockchain, information management, information architectures. Welcome back, my friend. Thank Good you, to see thank you. you. Always love being on theCUBE. really is taking a look at our business and our clients and saying what is it that our clients need for their futures. Much more accurate decision made much more quickly. Transforming not just businesses and business process, but actually transforming professions. The pace of change is so fast today, you've got to get something in your muscle memory that helps you change your business as much as operate it effectively. We help them with the data, you know, how to be truly data driven. That message really plays because all of our clients, big and small, are just challenged that way. The disruptive enabling that's going on with data, it's been more of a tech conversation, but the business benefits that this enables, I mean, just blockchain alone, what that could do for efficiencies, and then what AI promises with the use of data to automate value creation. This is pretty spectacular. Positive disruption, disruption in the positive sense in terms of how money moves around the world and assets and how we transfer ownership of assets. I mean, the possibilities are, are limitless. So how do companies go from that you know, distributed, you know, bespoke, siloed data model yeah. into this core data model? That's a cultural change, it's a technology change, it's yep. a people and process change. It would be very easy for you to dive bomb into a transformation effort and yeah. say, oh, I'm going to go get some smart computers and hire a bunch of people that know machine intelligence and natural language processing and all that stuff. And that's not unimportant, but the data piece, I mean, if you don't understand how data is going to be relevant to your business and to your clients and their clients, right, in the future, you lose. Of course, to harness that data, we have to apply techniques like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, to really get the value out of the data. Yep. And then we have to underpin that with a multi-cloud architecture. The system is guiding them through. Here's the internal data that's relevant. Yeah. Here's the external data that's relevant. Here's how you can link them. We are working with 140 airlines. We're working with utility companies. When you think about the decisions that these companies have to make, Yes, the forecast is great and it's important, but it really is, what are the insights that I can derive from mm. all of that data that are going to make a big difference? Investors. Right? Invest oh, absolutely. The flow of information globally in real time has been around now for a while, yes. and it's about time it came to money. We do eight million transaction documents a day in terms of this trading network, so we're adding blockchain to that as a way to ensure that transparency, as well as speed of operation. So we're really excited and about it. And security, huge. huge. When a publicly traded company launches a smart contract for a decentralized application, security is the highest priority. Millions of dollars are going to go through this smart contract. It's been regular practice in the cybersecurity world to type up code and to have it reviewed by a third party auditor. We're simply applying the exact same logic to the blockchain space. IBM is not competing with public blockchains. They're looking at it in a different way. They're saying, hey, you know, you can have I guess private blockchain because they have a different use case. Correct. We see the opportunity in blockchain for things like customs decorations as a first priority, but obviously the logistics network, there's just huge opportunities here yeah. where far too much of this is really You guys done could run mainly. the table on this area. I mean, oh. blockchain, supply chain, chain, I mean, similar concept, it's just decentralized and distributed. Yeah. The shared ledger will allow you to see where in the process your transaction document is. Being able to do that in seconds, not weeks, right, going through that paperwork. So there's huge opportunities there. I fundamentally think it will be a game changer. And it all boils down to this notion of digital assets. We can tokenize all sorts of other asset classes, commodities, securities, um, and even fiat currencies, right, where central banks or commercial banks can issue uh, a token that represents a claim of on deposits held at some financial institution. You enable primary and secondary markets by creating a digital asset that can be bought by anybody anywhere around the world. This is a highly accelerated money transfer, value capture, value transfer environment. You can't take any chances. Yes. We're excited because we're now adding in not just AI capabilities, but we're also adding in collaboration capabilities. We want to make sure we leverage your expertise, so your people, your, your talent, so augmenting them. People are going to be allowed to practice and use what's between their ears a lot more. That's going to create value, insight, new questions to be asked. AI doesn't take over. It's really finding the way to AI uh, to really assist decision makers. Learn, interact, 
and, um, and evolve and integrate these data sets yeah. in order to give our clients speed. Well, let's talk about that. How does NASCAR take weather insights and turn it into a business advantage? What are you guys doing, John? Real-time information, hyper-localized models designed around our event within four kilometers of every venue. And remember, we're in a different venue every week across the country. We take data off of airplanes. We take data off of cell phones. We'll soon be taking data off of cars. Multiple languages, multiple implementations, and it's getting better and better, whether it's healthcare, it's tax accounting, it's law, and cybersecurity. We're seeing huge data opportunities. Data paid off, big time. Hu huge payoff. I got some nice use cases, but on the outreach basis, they got to go to the business users and saying, this is an opportunity to leverage the data, leverage the software and AI with Watson and other things, and then leverage the underlying technology, software-defined storage, software systems, that move to the blockchain in a decentralized and distributed way. It's part of tooling is really about end user education and enablement. Instead of reading through a traditional manual or watching a bunch of YouTube videos, yeah. what if Watson actually surfaced? Here are some existing templates. Where yeah. would you like to start? And all yeah. of a sudden this kind of co-creation happens. And you've got to get the underlying technology right, but you always have to do that in the context of the uh, business uh, execution, the business deployment. Comes back to team, right? So we'll go to the high level team offering and go to market. The right team will make the right call. The stakeholders that matter is the business guys and the developers coming together. That is absolutely fundamental. You can't just throw money at developer programs and saying, oh, we're going to win the developers, we win the day. We're learning from all the engagements we're doing and then that shapes the direction that we take the uh, underlying technology into. Distributed and decentralized is the future of infrastructure. This is the secret of success. This is where the winners are, are establishing the, the clear line of sight. This is a wrap from IBM Think 2018. Guys, thanks for helping us close that up. Peter, thank you for helping Absolutely. the co-host this week. John Furrier was unbelievable with the pop-up cube. No matter where it is, we'll be there. I'm John Furrier here in Las Vegas for IBM Think. We're out. We'll see you next time. Thank you.